This video will cover APA 7th edition for student papers. However, if the guidelines provided by your professor are different, please follow those. First, log into Atlas. Once you're in Atlas, hover over the Windows icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen, then click Office 365. Once you're in Office 365, click the Word icon in the center of the screen. Then click New Blank Document. Now you can type the title of your new document in the top blue section where it says Document. Be sure to choose a specific title for your paper. In Office 365, the document is automatically saved after each change you make. To check this, make sure it says Saved to the right of your title. Now the first thing we'll do is insert a header. To do this, we'll hover over the tab in the top right corner of the document until the word header appears. Then, click the tab. We'll see that the header is divided into three sections. Click the far right section. Next, we'll insert a page number. To do this, we'll click Insert on the top of the screen. Then we'll click Page Number. And then we'll select the image that shows a page number in the top right corner of the page. A symbol will appear in the right side of the header. Don't worry, when the document is downloaded, the proper page number will appear. Next, highlight that symbol and change it to the proper font and font size. The APA 7th edition gives a few guidelines on fonts you can use. However, we're going to use Times New Roman size 12. So select Times New Roman and size 12. Click anywhere in the main part of the document to close the header. Next, we'll change our font in the main part of the document. To do this, we'll click Home in the top left corner. Then we'll go down to the Font Options and select Times New Roman from the font box. Then we'll also change the font size to 12. Next, we'll adjust our line spacing. To do this, we'll click the three dots in the upper right hand corner of the screen and then select Paragraph Options. To change the line spacing, we will look for the line spacing section. Then we'll click the drop down box and select Double. Now we also want to make sure that the spacing in before and after are set to zero to eliminate any extra space after we hit the Enter key. Click OK to save your settings. Now we'll check the margins of the document. Click Layout at the top of the screen and then click Margins. The margins should be set to Normal showing that there is a one inch margin on the top, bottom, left and right of the document. Now we can create the title page. The first thing we'll need to do is hit Enter three times. Next. We'll center and bold the text, then type the title of the document. To center the text, click the text alignment icon at the top of the screen. To bold the text, click the bold V at the top of the screen. Then type the title of the document. Next, hit the Enter key twice. Click the bold B at the top of the screen to remove bold from the text. Now type your name, the author's name, using your first name, middle initial, and last name. Then hit enter one time. Now type the name of your college or institution. Be sure to include the name of a specific department if you have that information as well, such as the School of Nursing. If not, just type the name of the college. 
After the name of your college, press enter once. Now type your course number and name. Check your syllabus or canvas to see how to properly write the name of your course. Then press enter one time. Now type the name of your professor the way your professor prefers to have it written. Lastly, write the date. After you type the date, insert a page break. We can do this by clicking insert at the top left of the screen and then clicking page break. This will automatically create a brand new page. Now we'll click home to bold the text, type the title at the top of the second page. Then click enter one time, remove the bold from the text and left align the text as well. Then you can press the tab key and begin to type your paper. If your professor requires you to write an abstract, type the word abstract in bold at the top center of the page, hit enter one time, remove bold from the text, left align the text, and then start typing your abstract if you want to download a copy of your paper, click File in the upper left hand corner and then click Save As. Click Download a copy to create a Word document of your file or click Download as PDF to create a PDF of your document. To access your documents in Office 365, click the square icon in the top left corner. Then click OneDrive. All your Office 365 documents will be located here. For more help with APA style, click the links in the description box.